Hey there, good day. Welcome back to my channel, Good Artist Woman. Today we are talking about doodle letters. What are doodle letters? Why do we need doodle letters? What's the benefits of doodle letters? And where I personally get inspiration to create my doodle letters. So, welcome back. If you uh, or have visited my channel before, if you're new, brand new, thank you for um, visiting and like share and um, yeah if you've got any questions or comments about the video on how to create doodle letters within Canva please feel free to drop a comment and I will gladly come back to you so to start off with what are doodle letters so to me doodle letters is an expressive way to bespoke unique fonts so instead of creating stock standard fonts that we use in our creativity um, projects you can use a doodle letter as a form of um, typography made up with texture papers or elements that resonates with you or, or that inspires you or there must be a reason as to why you want to create a um, unique doodle letter so, so that's why people create um, doodle letters. It basically transforms, um, as I said, traditional fonts, the ordinary fonts, into uh, a lot more creative, unique, um, and again, an expression of what, what you are busy with. So, so what does doodle letters look like for those who don't know? Um, if you go onto Etsy, which is where I sell my doodle um, letters bundles, um, doodle letters, sorry, it's a JPEG. Okay. So if you don't know what doodle letters look like, that? this is this is an idea of what a doodle letter looks like. So that's a doodle letter. It's made up of unique elements, textures, images, backgrounds, whatever you feel like, um, go with it. So just to demonstrate in terms of what a, a doodle uh, letter is. The, the other thing is in terms of why doodle lettering, um, simply because you don't need to be an expert. It's very easy to very easy to design. So you don't need to be an expert to be able to create doodle letters okay so that's that that's a good thing um, there's a lot of products and projects that one would that I would like to get involved in but I can't because it's so high level that the learning curve is, is huge it's long it takes a lot of time and I can't always um, get to it doodle letters is not one of those um, product creations so we'll, we'll get into the design quickly um, some of the benefits I think it's for me personally, it's an expression of how you feel or what you feel you want. In my case, last week it was Halloween. It, I mean, you know, we close to Halloween, but well, I felt like it, and I and I put something together, and there we have a Halloween um, product, and someone actually bought it. Um, so for me, that's a. Uh, I love the fact that what I feel at the time, what inspires me at the time. It's a quick and easy way to do that. Where do I get inspiration? So uh, Etsy, as I've showed you now, like I, you go into Etsy, do the letters, and I just go and browse and see what's what's happening. So the idea is never to copy. I don't support copying other artists' work, designers' work, and claiming it as your own. I look and see what is available, um, and then I draw inspiration from it. It might not be exactly the same to what I'm seeing in front of me, but um, I can take a little bit here and a little bit there and I can create something that is unique. A lot of you have asked me to make a video and um, thank you so much for reaching out. So we will now proceed with creating the doodle letters. I don't think I've decided on a pattern. Have I decided on a pattern? Let's see. So you will go to your Canva create your design. I use custom 2000 by 2000. You can use whatever works for you. Um, that's if you start fresh. Um, 
you can on Canva, it's uh, you can on Canva search elements um, letter frames. Okay. So you can use Canva's letter frames. I do this a B, and as you can see, it's there's no, it's not in a chronological order or an alphabetic order. It's just all over the show, um, which is why I don't use Canva's letters, and I also can't always keep track of that font is not the same as this font type, um, etc. So. If you don't want to uh, buy typography, um, sorry, if you don't want to buy letter, alphabet letter frames, then you can use Canvas. I bought from someone on Etsy. Uh, I enjoy supporting other creators um, within the community. So you can, as I've mentioned earlier, go on to, to Etsy, do the letter frames. And you will get a whole list of options in terms of doodle letters. Okay, so that if that fan, you if you like that, then you can go with it. Um, yeah, this is something I think I've bought this one. I'm not, I'm not sure, but whatever tickles your fancy, just go onto Etsy, grab a pack, um, and use that pack. So I will use the pack that I have bought. Now, in terms of what do you how what do you, how do you create the, the, the doodle letter? Um, so before you even start the, the doodle lettering creation process, you need to know what's your theme. Um, what I've done for you guys is I've actually created a list of, of just ideas, I think, as, a, as you start out with your doodle um, letters creation. So, you need to have texture papers or images or whatever you're going to use to fill the letters with because it's so easy. I think um, the, the bigger part of the work is what are you going to create in terms of doodle letters. So I've just created a list of 20 uh, uh, doodle letter inspiration lists where you can, what you can create. I do have lots of um, texture paper packs that I have created in the past so fortunately I can just go to what I've already created so you'll see uh, all of these packs are available on Etsy um, if any of them inspire you if you want to go like with an animal skin you can do that if you want to go candy I um, don't know what this one's called candy gloss texture all of those you can go with that um, just to show you an example so if you want to go with, with a theme which is like the whole idea you just drop your image into the letter uh, you can position it if you want certain parts of the image into the letter itself then that's basically the function um, so ideally you want to theme it out you don't want to uh, create random sort of letters you want to theme it out so if it's a Christmas theme or a Halloween theme or a Valentine's Day theme it's basically just to have a uniform look and feel so this one is part of that pack but it's not really um, no, it doesn't look much like this one so thinking so long there we go okay so let's so these are jars um, um hearts and valentine's day theme sorry my canvas just a bit slow oops what's going on here
you know you can see your canvas hanging So it's just, it's basically just a drag and drop. I'm so sorry for the hanging, the canvas hanging and there's pretty much nothing you can do when, when the system responds so slowly. Um, so I'll try one more and then I'll just... Okay, so that's going to have to be the end of it. Unfortunately, um, Canva is hanging, as you can see here. There's, there's nothing one can do when Canva does that. Um, okay. So basically, just to cut the video short, um, it's a drag and drop process. The most important part is the, the texture papers itself, the, text, the theme that you want to go with. Um, I use Tropical as one of the theme packs that I've created before and then again you can see the versatility in terms of I created a Tropical texture pack um, as a product on Etsy but then I can now also use the same pack yeah so there's an issue on the end um, as I've mentioned this this happens a lot so um, I'm really sorry about that but I, I think I've covered the gist in terms of the benefits what they are what the letters are why we use it where you get inspiration from and then the easy part is the drag and drop um, get your theme together know what you want to um, use in terms of of, of, a, of a theme and then have those texture papers ready to you can use the same theme, you can use the same image and drag and drop it in all the letters with the same colors. You can have a theme with, with as I've showed you here, um, different flower with tropical images or you can have the whole ABC, ABC till Z um, made up of the same image. It really just depends on what you want out of the pack. So I'm terribly sorry for not being able to showcase the full extent of what I wanted <laughs> to show you. Um, this is just a. Yeah, I could I could only get to see, um, but at least I think I've covered the most important part. So, if you still need me to do a video with to elaborate more on my on my process and what I use then let me know but I think this is covered sufficiently in terms of how you how you can set yourself self up to create your own doodle um, letters thank you very much for for watching and